had a very uh, happy childhood in Greenland. There's a lot of freedom to, to roam around. You are very much in touch with nature. Whether you're a nature person or not, you are in touch with nature. Nature is everywhere around you. And you will see the ocean, you will see the sea almost everywhere. All the settlements, the towns and cities are located near the sea. Another aspect is the uh, it's a rocky landscape, the, uh, the massive stone formations. What I personally remember are these large uh, boulders. Somewhat, it's, a, it's an organic shape that I find very appealing. For me, Greenland is, is synonymous with, a, with, with total silence, and isolation. You are very much left with your own thoughts and own ideas. Uh, there's very little interruption. And uh, if you like that, then you will absolutely love being in Greenland. I moved to the Philippines in 2015. No set plan. I have hardly any contacts here in the Philippines. I jumped in with both feet, so to speak. It was quite an extraordinary experience. I felt very, uh, first of all, very welcome. I felt very embraced. It seemed like people felt free to do whatever they wanted and they just went with it. And that was appealing because I came from, from a more European tradition where everything was very uh, uh, structured, very strict. The first impressions of the Philippines are still, it's like, it's so vivid, it's so clear in my memory. The lights and the colors arriving the very first time I arrived here. It must have been at the end of, not the end of the day, at the afternoon perhaps, and the sun was just setting. And um, there was this amazing sky, clouds, big, it felt like the sky was bigger and you could see the silhouettes of uh, children playing in, uh, along the, the road. Everything feels concentrated along, along the roads. Everything is accessible, at least with your eyes. I've been practicing music longer than I've been practicing art, but painting gives me a different a different satisfaction than the music. In a way, I feel like it, it complements. Uh, as music is, a, is, is mainly an, an, an audio experience, painting is a, is a visual experience. It's a different way of articulating ideas uh, non-verbally. What I've been working on in the recent years is, is a theme I call uh, spontaneous structures, uh, structured spontaneity. It's a relationship between total freedom of spontaneity, of, of impulses, and uh, the strictness of, of, uh, of rules, of framework, of, uh, of something very concrete, and that the relationship between the, the two it's, it's sort of an overlap of um, what are the boundaries of what you can do and within those boundaries you are free to do whatever you want. It's understanding uh, limitations but also understanding that you have to allow yourself some freedoms under these restrictions. The component of water quality colors is that you you can't really it's, it's really hard to change what you have painted once it sets on the paper you can't really erase things so it forces you to make a lot of decisions before you actually start painting I've used black ink which is a, it's a really really strong color it's very dominating on a piece of paper I started doing acrylic 
uh, works on the uh, on canvas, sort of to see what happens if I if I took my concepts uh, and just made them larger. It would require a lot of effort to make artwork that big with watercolor and ink, and the, the watercolor has a certain uh, there are some limitations to watercolor. In a way, I feel like I'm both. Uh, I'm a product of the home I grew up in, but I also feel like I'm a product of the, uh, the, the country I grew up in. I grew up in Greenland, but I have a very close relationship to to Denmark. I wouldn't say that I don't uh, I don't belong anywhere, but I I feel like I could belong anywhere, rather. So wherever I am, I'm trying to make make that my home. I try to uh, engage with the with the culture that's around me as much as possible, and I try to inject my own personal um, creative inputs 